Hello everyone, this is Stumps Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends Eternals Wave Crow figure. Uh, so let's go over to packaging. So first you get the Marvel Legends logo here on top, Eternals logo here, Crow. Here is a side art of Crow here with the uh, Eternals logo here with the E. And here is the back with the description there for um, Crow, Marvel Legends logo there. Here is the other side of the box art. And here is the top with the Eternals logo furnished on top. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Crow out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories. So first you get these extra hand pieces, which are weird. They're not quite bent. Well, actually, I don't think they're bendy wire. You're not supposed to bend them. Yeah, they're not. Uh, so yeah, these are supposed to go on his arm. There's like a port there. I'll show you how to put them on. But yeah, you get this like, it's completely dark green. But then you get more of this like metallic green look hue with it. And it gets more greenish towards the ends of the tendrils here, which are cool. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to go on his arm. And then you get a second one here. One has a hook here, which is kind of cool. And this one goes, it spreads out a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then these are for his back pieces here. So yeah, this is just one, two lines, but they're combined into a hook here with this like green, yellow hue there. And then you get this other one here with the purple actually at the end. And then you get that same color at this hook. But yeah, that's all we got for accessories. Uh, it's a big guy here. So let's go over to figure here. So here is his head sculpt here so yeah you get the four eyes you get the weird looking mouth he's like all sorts of like he kind of reminds me of what venom kind of looks like or carnage i really hope they do a carnage figure with this type of look with the like maximum carnage look with all the tendrils coming out and you get this red uh thing on his head there and then you got all this really cool green yellow hue through the sculpt of the figure and you get the purple at the shoulders you get some of these tendrils coming out of there and then here is the back you get those ports there different shapes so that way you don't get confused with it green hue with it and then you get these hands here for him one really open hand and then here are the legs kind of reminds me of Groot's legs and then uh, you get this yellow green look there towards the ankle and then this is new for um figures it's not really a foot it's like a big blob for his foot which is kind of cool so i'm excited to see how that looks in the movie uh, but yeah that's all i can really say about the looks it's kind of like kind of reminds me of a symbiote except the face is different obviously but yeah if they're gonna do a carnage please use this type of like body look for him for, from the movie. Um, but yeah, the score of the articulation. So he has a double ball jointed head here. So you can look down that far. He can look up that far. He can look left and right. You get all sorts of head pivoting in there. Shoulders can move out just that far. 360 rotation there. Biceps will double jointed elbows. They get that other hinge to go. There we go. That far. And then wrists can swivel actually, or forearms can swivel. Wrists can hinge down that far. Up that far, 360 rotation there. And you also got a ball joint at the diaphragm, so you can go forward none really, backwards a little bit. You get side to side motion, some three rotation there. Legs kick it out that far, forward that far, backwards quite a bit. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Uh, they're still pinned joints. And then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And to get that like liquidy looking arm thing, so yeah, you just pop that whole forearm off there, grab one of those pieces, if I can figure out which one's which, and then put that in there. If it'll fit. I don't know if, there we go, now it wants to fit. So yeah, that's what it looks like there. And then you would do the same thing with the other one. And then for the back pieces here, so this one has like the circle there and you just plug it in 
Let me make sure I'm doing this right. So I think you hear a little off camera work. Excited for this one right here. And then for the other one, I think it's supposed to go. So yeah, that's how it would look there. And then to see the complete look with him with all those pieces on there. This is how you look. So you better have like a pretty decent big display case for him. Um, I'm going to put him in my villain shelf, MCU villain shelf. He's a pretty big figure, so he's going to take up a bunch of room. I got, it's like losing room already, so I got to expand my shelf a little bit. But yeah, I do recommend you get him because it's pretty like unique with all these pieces here. I really, really hope they do the same thing with Carnage from the movie because, geez, I loved what they did with Carnage in the movie. Um, so yeah, I really hope they do the same thing with it if they make a Carnage from the movie uh, figure for him. Um, but yeah, this guy comes with a crazy amount of like, things for him and the detailing on it is pretty cool. I like the colors sculpt for him and all that stuff for him. So I do recommend you get him. But besides that, that's all I got. Make sure you guys check out my link tree in my in the description. It has my TikTok, Twitch, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, so yeah, that's all I really got. So thanks for watching.